Hello again, Internet people. Scully Belgareth here for the final time in Oro's house to say hello to the final episode of The Witcher featuring my pre recorded footage. Which I'm grateful for because I've got to tell you, this episode, I was so goddamn tired. You would not believe how tired I was. It was painful. Oh, it was so painful. But I'm, I'm better rested now. So, uh, this episode is actually going to finish here at the hood. So, uh, you guys make your way back to here. I'm going to go record some new stuff for the next episode. And I promise this one will be high energy and lovely and fun, I swear. Bye! So, we're back again. And I bet my cat wears off before anything happens. See, that corridor thing is clear now. I'm really very tired. Oh, look, some dead... Oh, yeah, they were looking for treasure or some such. I can't remember. I'm fucking tired, all right? So, treasure behind these disposable walls, obviously. But I'm in battle, so I can't collect. It's a good thing my uh, necrophage oil's still going strong. And cat, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see shit. Probably should have leveled up, actually. Leveled up my strong style. Because group style against these buggers doesn't do a fucking thing, is what I found out the first time. As far as I can remember, this is the only freaking treasure chest with anything useful in it. I'm pretty sure the other one is just a massive uh, piss take because it's a room full of ghouls. But I'm going to go through anyway because I don't want to miss anything. And I'm, if I get injured, I kinda, I'm kind of hoping to get injured right now because I want to eat a sandwich and then I can... Uh, Add some more stuff to my inventory. Here's just another ghoul. But over there is a body. And I think the body will have at least some orange on it. Which is always nice. Uh, more ghouls behind me. So the technique with the ghouls really is just slash away them with the strong style. If you upgrade your eye a bit, you can knock them down, you can stun them. And a stun usually gives you a chance at a one hit kill. Which is probably what I should be using, but I'm just not for some reason. I'm just really tired, alright? So I'm a little slower in these battles. So my swallow's worn off anyway, which is a shame. Ghoul blood. Uh, more ghouls around this corner, probably. So the ghoulie king is around that corner and in the chamber on the end. But right now there's another destroyable wall. And some ghouls. There are no chests in here. There's nothing in here but ghouls, as far as I can remember. There might be a body, but it won't have anything valuable. Just extra work, but, you know, it's experience. I mean, I'm already supposed to level up, and I can't level up even more than uh, than I am already. At least not for a while. As far as I can remember, that's everything in this place now, apart from the uh, trophy creature, which I shouldn't actually be fighting, because I've got one still on my belt. But I'll kill him anyway, and then I'll just come back for his head later. Welcome to the hole... There is Osrael, King of the Crypt. So I'm just going to cut him into little pieces. And he's got some chests in here as well, I forgot. Which is quite nice. Osrael not putting up much of a fight, really. There we go, one hit kill. Lovely. Probably could have done that a lot earlier. Save myself some time. I could have swore he had some ghouls with him. Gold, gold, gold. I think his head is worth a bit more than the Drowner. But you never know, I can't remember. More chicken. A torch, which is always good. Really love a good torch. Red meteorite. Right, I need meteorite. So, I've read these books. And I would sell them, but they're not really valuable at all. So I'll just drop them and fucking red meteorite. Give me the meteorite. Because meteorite shards... Meteorite pieces... Uh, the only way to make swords in this version of The Witcher. Whereas in The Witcher 2, within five seconds of starting the game, I'd forged myself a nice silver sword. I just bought some ingots, went to a smith, said, hey, make me a witcher's silver sword. In this one, you need meteorite bits, because reasons. All right, so there he is. There's his head. Uh, I got two trophies now. Uh, at least I think. Oh, no. The inventory is full, I cannot carry more. Oh, yes, I, to I totally can. I just can't carry two trophies at a time. So, um... Fuck, really. I'll have to come back for it. Uh, please don't despawn. So, 
that's it, really. Um, I've killed the ghoulie ghoul and all the other ghoulie ghouls. But by the time I come back and having got my reward for this, there'll be more ghoulie ghouls between me and that fucking drowned dead head. But I think this one is actually worth more. I probably should have turned the first one in beforehand. I even thought on the way down here I should turn that in. Didn't bother because I'm an idiot. So, what's attacking me now? Oh, no, it's a place of power. It's a place of power back. So, by the time I come back, my cat will definitely have worn off, but I have a torch now. So, I will see you all when I'm at the Royal Huntsman or when I'm at the next shrine. Right, so here we are at the Royal Huntsman or Imperial Huntsman. I can't remember what he's called. But, basically, whenever you kill a trophy monster like that, um, anything with a name, basically, you turn it in and get money from either a huntsman or a fucking 200 orange, you piece of shit! Or turn it into the huntsman or the fucking castellan and they will give you jack shit for it. But I'm going back for the drown ahead now because I can't do any more of the shrines until it gets dark. So here we are again, back at the fucking huntsman to give me more fucking bullshit. Give me the head for it. Impressive indeed for a drowner. Even looks like... Holy telly. I drowned dead. That'll earn you 200 orange. How much do you make? Come on. It seems so. Depends. I've never come. Calm down. Progress. Get a wanker. Nothing. Take care. Basically, he's a racist right. bastard. So I've done a shitload, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off the chapter. So <laughs> see you all whenever. Oh, I have to meditate. Well, I have to meditate, but I also have to wait till it gets dark. So I might as well meditate till darkness. Right, so we just have one last shrine to do, and around the corner is the house of the last guy with the side quest for us. While I was wandering around in the crypt, I also found a dice box, which will allow me to go back, uh, after I've killed all these guys, go back to Zoltan to learn about dice poker, which becomes another little side quest, and is actually a good way to gain the trust of the guy in the house, anyway. Right, so I've done the eternal fire thing, and they despawned for some fucked up reason. So, that's the last shrine, that one's going to spawn into a monster. But while I'm here, I'm going to go over to Zoltan and talk to him about, uh, you know, gambling. Then I'm going to play some diced poker. Now, I'm not going to show you it. I'll just show you the one against that Othgood guy, when I, or whatever his name is, when I'm going to do his quest. Because he's going to try and get me pissed and then make me fight his fucking monster weeds. Ah, I fucking hate when it won't let you in. Okay. Right, so we're in Odo's hut and we're about to talk to him. We're about to talk to him. About dice poker, because I kicked Zoltan's ass and he recommended I talk to other people about it. It's a good way to earn his trust. And then he's going to ask me to help him get rid of his demon weeds. Oh god, they don't half drink. They drink a lot. Forgot the most important. Of course. Last time I gave him another drink. Uh, a ring of the eternal fire. Boozer. Must be from the river. He gets me absolutely bladdered. Um, you play dice. You play that pagan custom. Oh, you know what this is. Take it to the dwarves. Oh. Seems you wanted to cheat, Mister Gav. Odo, it seems you wanted to cheat, Mister. What? Weed it out, you hypocrite. Zoltan told me you play dice gladly. Speak your mind. Ah. I want to play some dice against you, old man. I will play for the big cash. So I need to win a couple games. I've already beat Zoltan and kicked his shit in. Because he was just Nubasaurus Rex. And I could have played against Mikkel, but he's gone off. He's disappeared. Let's raise it. Let's always raise, I think. It is a good bet. I mean, it's, it's not. I'm going to lose all my money, but, you know, it's the thought that counts. So, I could have played against Mikkel, and you can play against uh, Heron Brog, or whatever his name is, as well. Okay, so I've, I've fucked myself, really, here. He has a higher pair than I do, and now he has two pair. Oh, okay, yeah, I lost. Uh, this is what I get for thinking I could be the smug bastard and go in for the high stakes. Okay, three of a kind, bitch. Very hard to beat three of a kind, so fuck you. Except he also has three of a kind. Oh, you twat. Alright, I'm not going to raise. I'm just going to stand. I'm going to roll two more dice. What do you want to bet? I can get something else. 
Come on, full house. Come on, full house. Come on, full house. Oh, you bastard. So I've still got three of a kind. He's rolling for full house as well. And wouldn't you know, he doesn't have it either. So it's a draw. So why do I win? I don't know. Oh, well. I guess mine were higher, yeah. So I've got Jack. I've got Jack. No, I haven't. Two, three, four, five, six. Never mind. I've got six high straight. Ooh. You gods. Oh. Ooh. Love it. Okay. So I beat Auto. Yeah, yeah, no. Uh, the Reverend sent me to help. Garden problems. Monsters. Okay, I'll see what I can do. I'm not going for 50 orange. And I'm like, no, no, you need to raise it. A hundred orange, I'll drink to that, and we drink to that, and then he'll say two thirty orange. Twenty and not an orange. Uh, I said a hundred. I need to live. I Eighty, another drink, and I think we finally agree on a hundred orange. Can't fucking think. But I'm well and truly slaughtered. Ugh, strong stuff. Deal. Oh, you fucking wank! I hate you. I hate you, sir. I hate you. I hate you, sir. So, I can't remember the dogs like super important in this or something. Fucking weird like that. Okay. Well, that was a waste of good endurance. Okay. Die, you stupid demon plants. I'm really tired. Die, die, die. Okay, I've killed him. Now, Odo's dog. There's like hidden crap in the garden. And Odo's dog finds it, but I'm really. I'm just three sheets of the wind, really. So. Uh, that's. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in and get my reward, and then I think I'm gonna end it there. Because I've done way too much already. And uh, the only thing really left now is a few more dice poker games, and then we round off the chapter with talking to the witch and the reverend, so uh, go collect my reward, and then that's it. He tries to do me out of it here as well. He says like 50 orange, and I'm like, bitch, I'm not nearly drunk enough for that. Uh, here we go, and I threaten to chop him into bits, I think. At least I hope I threaten to chop him into bits. I certainly want to chop him into bits when he suggests it, because he's a lying little bastard. Speak your... I've slain your monster. You want your e we agreed on. We drank some ale, but now listen. All right. Okay, yeah. Your... I risk my neck for you, and you try to cheat me. Okay, thank you very much for that. I got my hundred orans. Earning his trust. Blood and dense, this armor's a warrior's, but this fat's are more familiar with tankard than sword. Okay, Gal's drunk. That's why he's so rude. But anyway, that's it. I'm going to leave it here because I've done way too much and I'm really tired. So next time we'll just finish off this chapter and move on to chapter two where we'll be inside for Zima doing stuff. So see you then. Bye. Here we are. The incinerator room. Be careful not ah. to trip over We still got to talk about this. I am calling that counselor, I swear to God. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. I'm not, I'm really not happy with you right now, Glass. 